Boom, boom, boom. This video is for any man, young or old, who doesn't know what his purpose is in life. I talk a lot about being aligned with your purpose in my videos. It's all over male self-development channels and in male self-development books. But a lot of times men, especially in this demographic, between 18 and 24 years old, you have no idea what your purpose is and what you've been put on the planet to do. And what I've put together is effectively a guide to navigating the space as a man when you're finding your purpose to still enjoy life and find peace and improve yourself whilst not knowing exactly what your purpose is so let's get started your purpose or a purpose as men we we all ask ourselves the question what am i put on this earth to do i think it's crossed every man's mind what's my big calling what we're searching for reason why we are on this planet however reason already exists in many purposes within our lives there are many steps, trials and tribulations to finding your purpose. And it's not something as a young man that is revealed straight away. In the meantime, I feel like every man should focus on a purpose. Something from day to day to keep him motivated and improving himself. That purpose can be to get a better body, to improve your income, to be better at your job, to be good at a sport, to improve a skill. It can be anything, absolutely anything you want. But each day I feel as a man should have a purpose. A day without purpose is a day wasted. Because as men, we are goal-striving organisms. We want to complete things, complete tasks. It, we want to complete quests and challenges and battles. It's what makes us feel like men. So each day that you sit there and you complete nothing, you're lazy and you just, you're like, oh, I don't know what to do, I don't know what my purpose is, so I'll do nothing, I'll just laze around all day. Those days are what hurts you as a man. Those are the days that lead to self-loathing. Those are the days that lead to depression. A man with purpose doesn't have time to think about being sad or upset about certain things. He just gets on with what he needs to do in a day. And this, in turn, allow allows your head to be a lot clearer, allows you to enjoy the moment and enjoy life more. So find a purpose. Now, life would be pretty boring if we all came out at 18 years old and suddenly we knew exactly what we were put on this planet to do because as soon as you knew that, you wouldn't try and, and try your hand at other things and it would incredibly limit your view of the world. So I think one of the beauties of life is it's all about the journey. It's about the adventure. It's about not knowing what you're meant to do so that you try so many different things, so you meet so many new people and eventually after trying and finding these things, you, you find an answer within. You, you discover a lot about yourself. It is all about the journey. Life would be very, very boring if you just found out at 18 what your purpose is meant to be. Why not enjoy the search? Because life is long. If you use it well, there's no reason why you can't have a fruitful and very productive life and have many purposes along the way. So just remember that. I know at 18, everything seems like, God, I want to just get it all now. I want it all now. And that's good. Have that urge to go out there and win the life that you want. But then also remember the long game. Remember that this is the long game. We're playing for a long, long time. So it's okay to not have everything figured out right now. Here's the three simple rules, though, that you can use in the meantime to stay happy and productive as a man, to find peace in your day-to-day -day life when you don't have your purpose yet. First, you need to find a routine. A happy life as a man is very hard without hard work, routine, and discipline. Trust me. I've done both. I've been completely lazy, had no routine, just been indulging in simple pleasures for months on ends. I've, d I've done it. And it leads you into a pit of despair and depression and it is not fun. It is not enjoyable. Every life needs like hard work, routine, discipline. It's doing the things you don't like to do. It's getting out of bed when you don't want to get out of bed. It's going to work when you don't want to get go to work. That makes that time when you can do the things you want, it's fun to do. You can do them every day of the week. They will just not be special anymore and you'll be searching into other things for these pleasures. So every man must find a routine. You must have a time that you wake up in the morning, a time scheduled for exercise and a time scheduled for work. Those are the, probably the three most important things I recommend you find because then you're going to feel like you deserve something at the end of the day, whether it's time with family or friends, something that you want to do afterwards. It's going to make that reward feel sweet rather than just having the reward all day. So find a routine and stick to it, and it will help you stay guided. Second, have a moral code. If you have a moral code like this one, then the idea of needing to find more purpose 
becomes a little bit insignificant because you'll find with this moral code or whichever moral code you follow, you you find purpose in the simple things in life. So I'm going to try and be the best version of myself. That could be one of your things. So you are constantly striving to be the best person you can be. Now that's purpose in itself. I will try to help others. The pursuit of helping and giving to others, being generous, loving others, that is purpose in itself. I will try my best not to hurt others and to protect those weaker than myself. These are all purposes that you can harbour as a man right now, that you can do day to day. You don't have to find this great magnificent calling right now. It will, it will appear in time. And that leads me on to my final rule. You must have faith. When you have a moral code, when you have a routine, when you're doing everything you can to improve and looking after others, you must leave the rest to the gods and have faith that everything will turn out all right in the end. To do whatever I can in the moment and leave the rest to fate and be shown what path I must follow. And I'm a strong believer you're exactly where you need to be right now. And it's just effort that decides the path. So make sure you go in full effort. Make sure you're giving it your all, but then leave the faith to the gods and let that go because it's a big burden constantly worrying what your purpose is when it's already been decided. Don't worry, it's coming. You're just not ready for it yet. So boys, there you go. I felt some I felt like that was that that message was given to me from a from a higher power to give to you today. As you'll notice, it's not my usual comedic style and, and just utter nonsense <laughs> that I'm normally chatting about. So I hope you boys enjoyed it. I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed that one. It's been great to see the, the clan growing as well. Anyone who makes it to the end of the video, this is a, a little section for you. Just thank you so much for watching. Thank you for go, coming on the journey with me. Thanks to everyone who joined the Gorilla Clan. The clan's thriving and you guys are actually really awesome guys. So it's great to meet you all. And um, yeah, let's keep going. The daily uploads will continue. We'll see how far we can take this. But yeah, I want to say thank you to every one of you for watching. I think you guys are awesome. I'm going to keep being the gorilla that I am inside and entertaining, amusing and educating you on a daily basis. So now I must go to eat some bananas. But namaste. Power to you, my friends. Whoop out, whoop out, whoop out, whoop out!